Hello, my day family. How are you doing today? And for those of you that are new to my channel, my name's Mayday. I'm a licensed counselor with a YouTube channel. Don't forget to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing as, as well to the May Day family. One of the things that it makes me think of when I see guys getting so bent out of shape, when the topic of women who are looking for a guy who makes six figures or more comes up is this video, this little snippet from South Park. I'm an avid South Park lover. Yes, I will admit it. Um, <laughs> but this is what it makes me think of. I don't know about y'all, but we work long and hard to get our pay up to a level where we can make a decent living. And now these people from the future are showing up and offering to do the same work for next to nothing. They took our job. Yeah, they got our job. Men are getting increasingly upset at the fact that women are, are getting pickier and pickier, uh, especially in regards to how much the man makes. Women are starting to get more closed off and get, are getting pickier and pickier with how much the man makes because that is the most direct way from their perspective to be able to tell if the man might be worth the effort or not, right? And I think it's important for us to clearly define that because, because honestly, a true men w don't get upset at things like that. You know, I mean, if that's your preference, that's your preference. And I find that a lot, especially with Kevin Samuel's platform, a lot of men there just don't really seem to know what they're talking about because they are focused so much in trying to place the blame elsewhere as opposed to being focused on improving themselves. Improving themselves so they are a better person for whoever they end up with. So as opposed to taking responsibility for their shortcomings, they're too busy trying to find people to point the finger at, including Kevin Samuels. He's so busy trying to point the finger at women and black women that he refuses to acknowledge his very obvious shortcomings. I did a review on one of his videos and he has he has quite a few of them and I'm surprised that someone with that many shortcomings is so comfortable, um, you know, being a douche and acting like he doesn't have any. So anyways. or what I've been seeing happen a lot is that men are now starting to kind of take that personally, right? So most men don't make a six-figure income. So a lot of women will go out on dates with these men and are finding that not only do these men not make enough money as far as income, but they're also subpar men as far as quality and the way that these men are. So a lot of women are coming to the conclusion that what they need is to look for men that make a six-figure income. I suppose that, you know, Kevin Samuels and his solution is to bring certain women on that obviously do not represent the majority of women, but he insists on bringing solely these type of women on his channel for the most part in order to make an example out of them. But his method is to basically be very difficult to these women and very harsh in his language. But I'm here to tell you that that doesn't work. That's not gonna work in favor of anybody. At the end of the day, men will lose, boys will lose, females will lose. So males and females, we all lose, right? Because, you know, if the way that you approach someone is gonna trigger certain responses. If you're trying to really get someone to understand a certain concept and get them to reevaluate perhaps their perspective, the way you approach them isn't by insulting them, making feel bad about themselves, downgrading them, and that's his approach. That's Kevin Samuels' approach. But with that particular example, in my opinion, Kevin Samuels is an individual that's actually not doing any good to society. He's not making any positive uh, impact. 
he is all he's doing is building his platform and capitalizing off of it basically and it's not helping anybody it's not helping his followers and it's not helping the male or the female species because all you're doing is bringing people on your show and putting them in uncomfortable situations where now they have to feel like they have to defend themselves and they're not going to go back and think about what you said no because that experience was so uncomfortable for them so nothing is changing if not it's just getting worse and worse because you're putting more and more women on the defensive <laughs> So more and more, more women are, are getting more and more defensive. Like, you don't know what you're talking about. This is what I deserve. This is what I want. And that's that. So in case you didn't know, and if you're a Kevin Samuels follower or a fa follower of anyone that's, the, that's like this person, it's not helping you. It's not helping your case because most women are seeing this and they're getting on the defensive. Like, hey, you know what? Like, if you can't provide the basic minimums and if you don't understand what I'm saying, see ya. So, everyone loses. Everyone loses. From my perspective and from what I've been seeing, women are looking for men that make six figures or more because, at the very least, that is a more direct and easier way of being able to tell if this man has the basics covered because what we're finding nowadays it's that it's getting harder and harder to find a guy that at the very least has the basics covered more and more women are finding that listen these guys are boys at best they bring nothing to the table right low income earners they're not very nice people. They're not consistent because consistency is key when it comes to any relationship. They're not persistent. They don't know how to be sensitive, emotional when the time requires them to be. They're not engaging. So these men aren't bringing any of the basics to the table and more and more women are starting to see that and that's a problem right don't forget to smash that like button for the youtube algorithm and consider subscribing as, as well typically men that make a six-figure income at the very least have the basis covered you can't make a six-figure income if you don't have the basis or the basics covered aka you have a job you work you're probably not lazy, at least when it comes to the fundamentals, bare basic minimums of earning a living and paying for your bills. Um, and you, there's a good chance that you have aspirations as well. Here's the thing. We need to start looking beyond surface level. And I think that just by human nature, most people have a really hard time diving into the core of things. Most people are very surface level with pretty much everything that they do and how they think and how they choose to react to situations and certain things. And that is inclusive of what a lot of men are currently saying about women who are looking for men that are earning six figures or more. For example, with the channel that we've been talking about, Kevin Samuels, this older man, this older man who, in my opinion, is very difficult to deal with. From the videos that I've seen, I don't see why anyone would want to be in a relationship with someone like that. I don't care how much you make. Hey, I want a man that's earning six figures or more. What does that actually mean? When we dive into the core of that, when we dive into the depths of that, what are you even saying, right? So here's the thing. A lot of women lead in and they start saying, I want a man or a guy that makes six figure, six figures or more. And what happens is a lot of the meaning of that is lost in translation because people have a very hard time 
relaying the message that they want to relay in a way that the person receiving the message is able to fully comprehend the totality of that message. And that's just in general because it's very hard to, to do that. It's very hard to relay the core of what you're trying to, to, to say uh, based on how you feel and what you actually want. And a lot of times when we're trying to do that, a lot of perceptive gets lost in translation. So when women say that they want a guy that earns six figures or more, from what I've seen from my experience and from what I've studied, what women are actually saying is, hey, listen, I want a guy that has his bases covered. And I want a guy that I can tell has at the very least his bases covered because what I've been running into a lot are guys that don't even have the bases covered and I can't do anything with the guy that doesn't even have the basics, right? That is the core of it. So the basics in this situation is, for example, a guy that can pay his own bills, a guy that has his own aspirations, his own goals, his own dreams, a guy that understands what it means to build a home, what it takes to work for something and is willing to put in the work for it. That is at the core of, oh, I want a guy that makes a six-figure income or more. At the very least, I believe it's at the core for most women. I'm not saying that this is for all women, but I do believe that for a good chunk of women, when they say, you know what, I'm kind of tired of this, I want a guy that makes a six-figure income or more, what they're actually saying to you guys and boys and men is that they want a guy that's able to step up to the plate and that at the very least has the basics covered. And one of the easiest ways in their minds and from their perspective to tell if a guy at the very least has their basics covered is by how much they make. Typically, you can't make a six-figure income by being a bum and laying on the couch all day long, right? So if you make a six-figure income, there's a higher chance that perhaps you're ambitious. There's a higher chance that at the very least, perhaps you have a job or a career and we don't have to come in and then worry about that, worry that you don't have that. And so what that boils down to, ladies and gentlemen, is that a lot of ladies are feeling like the men that are meeting, the men that they are meeting are not up to par. They're not reaching the base minimum of what it takes to even be on a date with them in the first place. And so when they say, hey, I want a guy that makes six figures or more because these men that I've been meeting, they not only don't make any money or little to no money, but they're also lacking in other fundamental areas. They don't have a job, they don't have a career, they don't pay their own bills, they don't live alone, things like that. And so that makes women in retrospect say, hey, you know what? This has, ha this has to be a base starter for me. And so I do believe that for most women, that is at the core of the statement. So it's not necessarily about the surface level statement of you have to make six figures or more. It's more about the core underlying that statement, the reasoning underlying that statement and what they're actually saying. Right. So what these women are actually saying to you is, hey, listen, if you don't have your if you don't have your basis covered, if you're not able to afford to pay your own bills, you're not able to afford to take me out on the date, you're not able to uh, uh, know what your your goals are, aspirations are, and you're not already working on those things, then why are you even here sitting in front of me on this date, right? That's what I'm looking for. That's the core. And so 
what a lot of us need to do is start working on really uh, communication skills and understanding what's below the surface. So for example, if you go on Kevin Samuel's page, it's all surface level thoughts, right? And it's based on surface level things. And it, it very seldom dives, dives into the core of things, into understanding the core of things. And I think that that's very, very important to do. Now, on a woman's end, it's also important to learn how to correctly communicate what it is that you're wanting and looking for. Because when you do say, I want a six-figure guy, guys typically don't have or don't take the time to think in depth about that. And they'll just take that and run with it. And so it's important to be able to communicate what you actually mean in a way that they're able to conceptualize that uh, and take the actual meaning from what you're saying. So if you do your homework, because in order to be able to effectively communicate that, you have to know what's at the core of what you're saying. And that's another thing that I'm seeing a lot is most women don't know that that is what's at the core of what they're saying and that's actually what they're looking for. So most women themselves are stuck at the surface level and thinking at a surface level and then searching for these guys that make a six-figure income without ever asking themselves the necessary additional questions such as, why am I looking for a guy that makes a six-figure income? What does that mean? What would that look like for me now and in the future? What would that bring to the table for me? And then taking those answers and putting them in reference. Oh, okay, so this is actually what I'm looking for because this is the reason. What's at the core of what women are looking for are these core attributes and men, you know, I do believe need to start stepping up more in order to be able to deliver the basics. You don't necessarily have to make six figures or more. If you bring all the, the basics to the table, like I mentioned earlier in this video, you'll start realizing pretty quickly that, hey, this is, this is actually what they're saying. It's not just the surface level, you know, they're, they're not actually literally saying hey I want a six-figure earner and that's it right it, it, it's it's everything that comes with that and so I do think that men need to start stepping up more but I also think that women need to take responsibility because after all women are the ones that raise these men <laughs> and so there's a lot more to be said about that but that's for a different video. But both parties need to start learning how to communicate and really understand the core issues underlying the communication that they have between each other. And I think that's important. That's why I just think that, you know, people like Kevin Samuels and his following are just for the most part so misguided because they just come so heavy and put women in a very uncomfortable space to where it makes it ineffective and most women are, are going to cl be closed off to that they're not going to listen so you're not helping the race and you're not helping the group if we're talking about black people you're just not helping our group so it, it, if anything you're damaging it even more because you're essentially putting one group which is guys against another group which is women and I do believe that guys in the long run will lose because guys need they guys want physical intercourse they want sex right and the more uncomfortable that women get the more they're pushed into a corner the more they're gonna push back like if you can't deliver deuces say you later and that's going to become more and more and more and what you'll find is that no one wins you know the women will be closed off the men will feel a certain type of way and no one wins with approaching this issue in the way that he goes about approaching it in my opinion so 
that's what I think. But let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. And don't forget to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing as, as well to the May Day family, especially if you like this type of content because I will be posting more of it. I would love to see you. And we're working towards our milestones and our goals together. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.